paddle wheels. Paddle wheels are, are commonly misunderstood. Usually I needed, uh, usually ships needed heat and stuff like that. So I would have, um, so I'd have two small burners and basically, basically the problem was, was pretty much, uh, whenever you're maneuvering up a channel or, or whenever you you get to where you're going, you need to maneuver and it's like, well, how do you maneuver? You know, what are you going to do? And, um, and stuff like that. And there's also electricity too, um, you know, and, and some of the paddle wheels were, were set up to be dynos and paddle wheels. So basically the sails, you know, one of the paddle wheels would kind of drag in the water as it's going through the water and they would generate power for the lights and stuff like that. We also did that too. So we didn't have to run. So when you get under sail, what you do is you, is you would pull this gear back and this thing would go back and then the, and then the paddle wheels would just free wheel and there'd be a dyno in the middle or a dyno off to one, two dynos. And one dyno would run the DC lights in the front of the ship, and one another dyno would, would run the DC lights at the back of the ship. So, and basically, when you get where you're going, you, uh, you engage the gears and heat up the, 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 the steam power. Plus, you know, the steam engines also provide heat for the, for the whole ship, basically. You know, running steam, you know, we had steam radiators in my ship. So basically, when you get where you're going, you know, the sails get you across the ocean, and you go with the trade winds. And then when you get where you're going, uh, to get up in the, into those creeks and stuff to get that merchandise or get those people up in there, you know what you do is you engage the uh, the, the things. Go chunk. This big gear comes forward and chunk and locks in or something like that. We had an interlock or something like that. And there's the dyno still basically, but the lights will kind of flicker and stuff like that. You know they would disengage the lights or engage the lights. You know a big panel off to one side. Basically, when you get where you're going, though, you uh, you engage the, the the steam engines and then you use the paddle wheels to maneuver yourself. You know there's one engine in each side. And uh, and basically the paddle wheels come up, and then so 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 my so my ships could could maneuver up a creek, you know, because sails aren't don't do you any good when you get in there, you know. They might keep one of them up, but basically, you know, pretty much they break, they take down the sails, the rigging as 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 they come into uh, come into port, whatever. And then you know I, I was the only one with the, with these engines though, so, you know, because I had the best and nicest ships. So um, yeah, because I'm Lucifer Star, man. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm Lucifer Star. So anyway, they come in, engage it, and then basically they come upstream, and then they maneuver into the dock. You know, the big wheels. And the other one's like... Basically it maneuvers, and then it comes in, and it goes to the dock, and then you go... You know? And that's how you dock a big ship. That's how my ship's docked. Lucifer Star. White Star Lines. Uh, yeah, and um, <laughs> I know I'm stupid, but anyway, yeah, um, my ships had the paddle wheels and everything else like that, and we'd maneuver, and then, and then, and then, and then, good day, lady, you know, and then, and then, uh, get all the stuff out of the thing, open the decks, and they would pull off the deck crates, the, the deck lids, and they would be removed, and then, and then the crane would swing over and it depends a lot of my ships you know my ships were set up to be 100 percent self-contained so we didn't need a crane an on-site crane we could just be like all right get the what's it called and and sometimes we had a big mast or whatever and it would come forward over the hold be like okay and sometimes what, what you do is you use um if you have a pole right here and you have a pole sticking up on the front or whatever and then you could run a line between the two and by lowering the one cable up and down, you know, you can, you can shift the load around. So it's, down low, let's hook on, and then, hoo, heave, heave, heave. And that's what those big wheels were actually for, is you'd run the wheel, go, going, going to, a tabernacle, to, to a tabernacle, and then it'd go up. And you have another tabernacle up high, and it'd come down. And then you have another tabernacle on the other, th uh, on the other one, and a rope between them. And then they go, down, and then you go, okay, heave. And they just pull the rope tight or pull the, pull it up a little bit. And they could lift certain things that way and other things. And sometimes, it, you know, you'd have to do something different, you know, like another, like, like, like come from the mainstay from the top and go down in these triangle shapes, you know, like this. And then so you'd have a rope down here and then you have a main, and then you have the mainstay because you can't put all the load on the, on the top piece because it just break it and bend it over. So... You know, you can put some load that way, you know, it kind of pulls down and then also the main mile load goes across here like this. So this one pulls it up mostly and then you use the main ones to go to get that extra little bit and then, okay, heave it over, you know, and then, 
and then uh, and then the and then another crane from the dockside would go up and over like unloading a ship back in the old days. Now that was work, as they say. You know, like like I say, those people don't don't even know about this about the rigging. Uh, they they would go across on the bottom piece, and then that would go down to the bottom. And then they're just lifting that up on the tension between the two things, between the two masts. And that's why they have to be big, nice, big, burly things. And then you come off the top with a, with, with the top chevron. So basically it's like this and like this. And then yeah, it's not a very efficient, uh, efficient winch. You know, it's true. It works better if you go like this and then... And, 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 that's, and, they, would do, they, and they would do another combination too. Like they would go straight down and then, you know, and then pick up to the other one too. Depending, it depends on the load that, that, that you're trying to lift, but basically, yeah. And then those things also do the sails and everything else like that, but they also unload the cargo. So, you know, uh, when when the, and then and then what they do is swing it over and put it on the put it on the thing, or maybe try and get it out a little bit more. But basically, you need a crane usually to pick it up, and that's why my my ships had the big steam steel winches, which where they go and then down. And they'd put them on the dock, and then it's like, all right, let pull it over, and into the wagon, and then, and then, I know, I'm silly, but that's what they used to do. You know, like I said, they're my ships, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, I was the biggest um, purveyor and seller and inventor of of sailing ships and steamships and spaceships and everything else. Yeah, you know, not so much anymore. I would have had them. I did have them, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, anyway, but yeah, and then you know all the cranes and stuff, and and like even the like like the crane that goes over and then down. You know, I mean all that stuff. You know, those were all my steel beams and stuff, and you know, we used to use wood trestles and all that. You know, start out with wood, and some people use bamboo and stuff like that, and then I use steel because I could mine it. Anyway, but yeah, you know, we transported the most amount of goods. I had the biggest ships and the greatest fleet, and that's why it's Lucifer White Star Lines and um, in America, and not, and not and not Billy Bo Bob's T Shack Country. It's like, yeah, well, I invented the word America. I also did, you know, Libya. Uh, most L things, most L words. Um, I named almost just about everything because I ended up having to have to buy everything, you know, basically or improve everything. So and people love me, like I say. My Germans love me. Um, I think Germans love me. Um, the Irish liked, lo love, cared about me, and the and the English loved me. I mean, everyone loved me basically. Like everyone cared about me. The only people who ever turned their back on me were the blacks, and the browns, and that's because they had some idiot for for a leader basically telling them that he knew the way. But like I say he just killed them all and shot them in the back, and then stole their stuff and fed them crap so you know anyway yeah but um you know i was always helping out other people strangers and stuff and like i said inventing the ships so we could get so they could go in and they could dock offload their stuff and i and i did that so i had the biggest fleet 